You're in the feet on you, mate. Yeah, I love a, I love a good toe. <laughs> <laughs> so, really, really gets you going, doesn't oh, it, Danny? revved up. So this, this, to some extent, just looks like some dude who's run an ultra marathon and he's got sore feet. Like, what, what, is that, what is this? Is this a problem? Yeah, uh, I think this is more than just sore feet. For me, this looks like athlete's foot. So this is a fungal infection in the foot. Again, same organism, but different body site. Looks very different. And you can see the... Uh, the, the, it's in the, this is classically in a, what we call a moccasin distribution. So it only affects really the sweatiest part of the foot, which is the sole of the foot. Never, never affects the between the big and the second toe because the, uh, or the top of the foot. It's always the underside and in between the little toes. You get this macerated skin. You get these kind of the skin's kind of flaking away. It's wet. Uh, it's it's got this kind of slightly yellow hue to it. It just looks a bit manky and unhealthy, doesn't it? Yeah, and <laughs> this is this is kind of barn door athlete's foot. Yeah. Okay. So, so jujitsu, your feet go everywhere on people. <laughs> Like yeah. in the face, yeah, probably everywhere. probably in the mouth yeah. on occasion, yeah, yeah. but certainly on you know on the biceps, on the hips, on the body. Yeah. So going back to obviously we just talked about jocks itch was that of yeah. course yeah, um, and that, that can transfer or translate to ringworm. Is it the same with this as well? Yeah, absolutely. That's so, interesting, isn't it? Yeah. But for, for me, the game like the groin, the feet are also a, a perfect breeding ground for yeah. fungi. So you don't you won't necessarily get this from other people you can tran transmit it between one person and another but th i think this is a a an example where the fungus is probably more responding to your own body habitus and if you're someone that's that's just training in, in the same i mean bjj is different because your feet are generally open which, open yeah, 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 which, yeah. which helps but it's, it's more of an issue with say endurance athletes who are in the same socks and trainers for extended periods and perhaps not washing their socks properly not looking after their feet that those are the people that tend to really get in trouble with do this um do children get this quite a lot yeah they can yeah yeah it's just well, yeah. i remember when i was younger people used to have athletes for yeah, yeah. and stuff like that yeah it was definitely something that i remember being talked about more than other things for sure um and then this one is this the same thing you just mentioned something about the toes yeah this is actually i mean this is a form of what we call inter trigo where there's infection between uh two bits of skin that are you normally up against each other and that creates a nice more moist dark environment for fungi to to thrive and this again is athlete's foot between the toes that's where you commonly find it in the early stages and it looks a bit manky but it, it, this is very treatable with the same creams that you'd use in your groin on your on your body uh, athlete's foot cream that you can get over the counter normally this will respond quite well to that yeah okay i've got a couple more feet pictures and then we'll, we'll kind of just chat through maybe again just just a few little bits to summarize on on this um so, so that I've got another one, second, which is far worse. But <laughs> to ease people in, like, what, what, what is this? Is this athlete's foot? Oh, man. As a GP, I see this like, so many cases of this every day. This is fungal nail infection. We've talked about scalp, groins. <laughs> Fucking does get everywhere. You're not lying, are you? Every, everywhere, everywhere. It, 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 once it gets internet, I'm not going to lie. This is an absolute bastard to treat. It doesn't tend to cause many symptoms. It causes discoloration and thickening of the nail plate, which cosmetically is undesirable, but it rarely causes actual pain or discomfort. But people can get multiple nails infected, not just on their toes, but their fingernails as well. And the fungus has penetrated into the, male, the, the nail matrix. And once it's in there, it's very difficult to get rid of. You can buy nail lacquers that you can paint on the nail that are antifungal. And you need to use them for six months plus. And the, the cure rates are abysmal. The only way of really shifting this is quite hard-hitting antifungal tablets, things like turbinafine. Uh, or itraconazole, which is like cracking a walnut with a sledgehammer. You're using really quite powerful drugs and they need to be used for prolonged periods, many months. And again, the cure rates are, are off. These are, for me as a GP, very disappointing to treat because patients are very understandably concerned about them, but actually my ability to, to fix this is actually quite limited. Yeah, okay. And this next one I'll show you, this is probably yeah. the worst one of the lot, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so someone's, <laughs> someone's training with a set of these cleats, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll see that and I'll go to, yeah. go, to, go, to, go to a straight foot lock. Do I not touch that foot? 
Okay, this, I mean, this looks quite, <laughs> quite established fungal nail. Uh, onychomycosis is the technical term. And you can see the edge of the nail there. It's lifting up and it's got very powdery and it's thick. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to scratch your skin. And that powder, it contains fungal spores that will then potentially seed fungus around the place. Yeah, it, and this is a really tricky one because potentially that that is exposing you to risk of infection as well. What just um, from the so so from those like infected yeah. toes, they yeah. could just by being on the mats by touching my arm could give me from, ringworm from direct me... contact. It, yeah, yeah, could infect you with fungus. Yeah, um, but as I said, it's a very difficult thing to treat. It, it'll take many months of 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 tablet treatment to actually sort this out. So, what would your advice be then to people on the mats that or someone's on the mat they've got an infected toe like this yeah. would you say stay off the mats get it treated come back on the mats because yeah. you're giving it to everyone or i think if it's very it depends what you're seeing if it's just a little bit of discoloration all right so toe, say the first photo the first photo you might you might accept that again there's not it's not as established it's less okay. infectious but the second photo you can see that's really active infection that nails really crumbly and yeah. you can see there's all this powder coming off the end i would wouldn't want to roll with anyone <laughs> that's looking like that uh, so definitely advise anyone with that kind of thing to go and speak to their gp and explore the treatment options chop your toes off well that's a bit God. drastic but. <laughs>